What better way to prepare to celebrate spring than with sweet, juicy, organic strawberries from your own garden? Okay, let's plant strawberries. Well, we're in the last week of September and my strawberry plants arrived yesterday, so today I'm going to work on my strawberry bed and take you along. I have buckwheat and crowder peas growing in this bed as a cover crop. My first step in making a strawberry bed is to cut that down. Next, I will build three raised beds in this area and cover them with black plastic. The heat generated by the plastic will help the strawberries grow in the spring. After all the strawberries are harvested, I will take out the plant, remove the plastic cover, and plant a cover crop to help improve conditions for the soil life. Soil is a living organism that needs roots in the ground to feed all the soil microbes. Plants exude sugars through their roots, which feed soil microbes, and in turn, the microbes make soil minerals more available to the plants. It is a beautiful symbiotic relationship between the plants and the microbes. I am making the beds 18 inches wide with 2 feet between the beds. Commercial strawberry growers make their beds wider and plant 2 rows in each bed. I'm planting just 1 row in these beds. One concern I have is voles. In the past, I have had voles tunnel in my strawberry beds and destroy my plants from the roots up. I just hope that doesn't happen this year. Okay, I've got all the beds made, three beds, and this morning I'm going to work on putting the ground cover on the beds. I've wet them all down good so they'll be wet when I cover them up, and so I hope to get that done this morning if it doesn't rain me out. Okay, so why do I want to go to all this work to grow my own strawberries? There are three main reasons. Number one, they are fresher than those purchased in the store. Number two, they taste better. Number three, and more importantly, to avoid chemical residues. The Environmental Working Group reports USDA tests found that strawberries were the fresh produce item most likely to be contaminated with pesticide residues even after they are picked, rinsed in the field, and washed before eating. For these reasons, in 2021, strawberries are once again at the top of the Dirty Dozen list. I don't particularly like using black plastic or artificial cover in the garden, but these strawberries, I'm told, need the heat generated by the black plastic to get them started in the spring. Now when I plant this strawberry plant, I need to be sure to get it planted level to where it was growing in the container. If I get it covered up too high, it will cause it to rot. And if I get too low, the roots will dry out and that will cause the plant to die. 
so we need to be careful how it's planted. This one has a sucker growing on it already, a runner. I'm going to take that off. I finished planting the Chandler strawberry plants yesterday, 48 plants in total. And this morning I'm going to water them in with some organic fertilizer to try to help get them off to a good start. Now this has fish and seaweed in it and Epsom salt and borax and some fermented plant juice that I made. I don't have drip irrigation under this plastic cover or poly cover. Um, so one of my chores is going to be to keep these watered at least once a week throughout the season. And hopefully next June we'll have some really nice strawberries here. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.